Booster Course Wave 4 for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is here, and we're checking out all changes and differences made for the returning courses. The second race of the Fruit Cup is GBA Riverside Park. Deep within a jungle under sunset skies, this track features a river with freshwater mangroves, wooden bridges, a mud pit, and a waterfall cave, all overrun with item-carrying patooies. So how does the most recent update differ from past installments? Let's find out! Riverside Park and Super Circuit had many twists and turns, including two big shortcuts. While its graphical limitations caused it to feel like a vast forest clearing with huge trees only in the background. When being reimagined for tour, the entire course was given dynamics in depth and scenery, while at the same time, it simplified the turns and eliminated the shortcuts. The Switch update offers visual and auditory enhancements from Tour's model, but it also adds patooies, walking piranha plants from Super Mario Bros. 3 with a neck for hovering items above them with their controlled breathing. While this is the biggest difference, there are many others. Let's address all of the gameplay changes first by elaborating more on the behaviors of these botanical balancers. Pituis spawn from the river by the broken bridge approximately every 18 seconds. These critters then travel towards the cave, where they hop in the waterfall and into the basin below to vanish. If a driver hits one, whether by an item or vehicle, it will drop its treasure. Each Patui may carry a mushroom, banana, or nothing at all, depending on what the item settings are. Mushrooms only, or bananas only, will assign only those items or nothing, but setting this option to custom items will strip the plants of all goodies, regardless of customization. With these classic enemies out of the way, we head to the starting line to evaluate the rest of the track. In the original, this was placed just after the bridge, but ever since Tour, drivers start near the middle of the bridge that is now wider. All of these bridges were given support posts to raise them above water level. This water used to be a hindrance in Super Circuit, but Tour made it out of bounds completely. Just ahead was a large U-bin featuring the start of short palms lining the roadside with colored block barriers running parallel to them. This bend was minimized with Tour's redesign, no longer having the left turn. The palms also were removed, but proper foreground trees were added near the path, with some connected by vines. Even the layout of the barriers here, and pretty much everywhere, was altered, with fewer blocks present. And yet, now, a set of red blocks were added in the north next to the blue set to block this off-road spot. Around here in the original was a huge shortcut across the river, taken by hopping with a mushroom across the partially blocked portion to skip the entire northeastern section. This sadly was removed for tour, but that area was simplified quite a bit anyway, and grass was made to buffer all spots where the path touched the river. In the area that could be skipped initially, the first main jump across the river was moved to the semi-diagonal part and turned into a broken bridge. The farthest slanted log from the collapsed division could be used to climb back onto the bridge if a driver fell. Preventing most falling were the tied ropes serving as side barriers, much like the set for the next bridge encountered later. The ramp remained, still holding the dash panel, but all dash panels beyond the gap were removed. Now, even this one is gone, but the ramp still allows for tricks. Past this gap is the part of the track that had the second big shortcut originally, one that used a narrow strip of shallow water to cross the river, leading to the southeast bound path. It was turned into a big grass cut, similar to most corners since the facelift. For the latest update, orange and green blocks were positioned just after the red type near the waterfall. At the same time, orange and red sets can be found on the other side of the tree at the opposite end, nerfing the shortcut. Here, we find the only mud pit since Tour, but in Super Circuit, four were present throughout the course. All of the Rufflesias that were along the path up to this point, starting at the first gap, were plucked, with some repositioned to join the trees in this area. Similarly, mossy rocks that were found just a little further ahead originally were thrown out, but many other clean rocks could be found off-road since Tour. The cave elements occupying the loop have been a game changer, with the walls keeping the space limited and the floor now being visibly wet and slippery. Ever since the revamp, the gapped turned bridge in this winding region was given weaving ropes that one would think is possible to squeeze through, but it's not. The cave exit leads through the waterfall with the starting bridge below, without the preceding dirt path from Super Circuit, or the ability to fall into the crossing path, only a basin. And for the Switch version, the cave exit was reshaped a bit, particularly the rocks adjacent to the ramp. Whew! Other than the obvious remake of the entire course, there are a fair number of noteworthy visual changes. A waterfall was added in the background in Tour, as well as the sun bathing the environment in a golden glow. The clouds were changed to a modeled style, but with the beautifying switch enhancements, they now look real, like the mist that can be seen in the distance. Tour also removed the small dark patches on the path, while leafy plants and grass clumps were moved to different locations that match the updated style. The river was decorated with rocks, mangroves, and saplings too. 
Now the river water ripples and flows westward. Some other details are new, such as mold on the bridges, longer blades of clumped grass, spectators, and the little birds that are right at home here. Speaking of home, let's take a look at the starting line, which went from having black and white checks to red and white in tour, adorning it with two vine-wrapped rock formations holding up a wooden sign. The classic logo displayed here was painted from an orange gradient to flat white now. The mud pit now has traffic cones surrounding it. Spelunking in the misty cave, headlights turn on, but bioluminescent mushrooms now help to illuminate the walls too. The ramp at the cave exit looks different, also showing off its metallic, glowing redesign. The waterfall effects are quite good now, but the water droplets don't stick to the camera lens anymore. Finally, animal sounds can be heard throughout the chorus as an auditory change, including in the opening. Ah, the song of the wild. Speaking of which, the music is appropriate for a safari, with some Afro-Latin influences and a classic rock and roll lead, likely inspired by N64 DK's Jungle Parkway and the soundtracks of the Donkey Kong Country trilogy. The original composition features digital elements combined with instruments, including Latin percussion, especially the cuica, a squeaky friction drum that emits sounds commonly mistaken for monkey chatter. Catchy. Tour arranged this piece with the arpeggios featuring both digital and stringed zither tones, as well as brass accompaniment and a saxophone lead. This is good too, but the live performance of the latest version feels more African inspired than before, introducing the kalimba or mbira, thumb piano, to the arpeggios, joining the Latin percussion, baritone sax and electric bass, soft brass accompaniment, and a bright brass lead. Awesome! This beautiful fusion brings to mind the Congo Basin and the Amazon, both containing rainforests with renowned rivers, just like this one. And that's about it for all changes we found in GBA Riverside Park. It's a fairly straightforward trek, albeit one pleasing to the eyes and ears, but the addition of the memorable patooies generates great opportunities for getting ahead. But what do you think? Have you found any notable changes that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, stay tuned to Game Explain for more on Booster Course Wave 4 for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and other things Nintendo too. Thanks for watching, until next time, ciao!